Back when I only had around 100 subs, this video somehow got over 200 views. So I figured, let's try it again one year later. We've got another G Fuel tier list, and this time around we've got some new flavors, and my opinion has definitely changed a lot. Now, I'd like to start this off by ranking all the flavors that I've only tried once and I've never tried again. So my opinion could have very well changed on all these flavors, especially Nemesis IC, because I know that's a super popular flavor. But anyway, let's go ahead and move on. First up, we got Bahama Mama. Now, last year when I rated this flavor, I gave it an S tier because because this was my first ever favorite flavor and I've tried so many different good G Fuel flavors since then that I can't really give this flavor the praise that I once gave it. But with that being said, it's still a solid flavor and I would recommend it to anyone that's getting into G Fuel. A tier. Next we have Divine Peach. Now Divine Peach is one of those flavors that after a while of sipping on, you kind of have this weird aftertaste that forms. Now I don't know if that's because of the kiwi that's in the flavor because it is supposed to be a kiwi peach, but overall it's a good flavor, it's sweet, it's simple, and I would have to give it a B tier. All right, next we have Ice Shatter, specifically the MK11 reskin of it, which I don't really know if that really makes a difference. But anyway, this flavor is perfectly tart and somehow still super refreshing. It has a nice light blue raspberry flavor, not light to the point where you don't really notice it, but at the same time, it's nothing overbearing. It's kind of like drinking blueberry lemonade, but with a ton of ice. This flavor is solid and easy go-to, and I would have to give it an Perfect. A tier. Now, I purposely made Phase X the next flavor to rank because Phase X and Ice Shattered tastes very similar to each other. They're both a little bit tart, a bit icy, super refreshing. The only difference is that Phase X is a bit more of a strawberry flavor rather than a blue raspberry. But that being said, I think I enjoy Ice Shutter a bit more, but I'm still going to give Phase X an Perfect. A tier. Next, we have Hive Nectar. Now, I remember when I first rated this flavor, I gave it a pretty poor review because of its aftertaste. And one year later, I've gotten a little bit used to it, but this flavor is still not really my favorite. It's a bit over tart and it's a bit basic, and I tend to overlook it a lot whenever I decide what I'm drinking for the day. But it still gets a slight upgrade up to C tier. Alright, sorry if I rained on some of you guys' parade with that last one, but I know I'm going to make some of you guys happy with this one because next we have hype sauce without a doubt the best g fuel flavor it's the most popular flavor on the website for a reason and it truly lives up to all the hype perfect tartness perfect sweetness it's super refreshing and on top of all that it's red and i like the color red hype sauce is gonna be going to s tier baby all right next we have miami nights and miami nights is very interesting to me because it really goes to show that some of these g fuel flavors are an acquired taste i remember when i first tried this flavor i really only tasted the coconut and now it's one of my favorite flavors because it's sweet I can taste the strawberry the pineapple and the coconut it all tastes great together and people say that this flavor is the better version of Bahama Mama and before I disagree with that because I had such a biasy towards Bahama Mama but now I completely agree with it so I'm gonna put it in a tier right okay. above Bahama Mama all right next we have orange cranthony now as time went on with me drinking this flavor I realized more and more how much I really don't like it I like the idea of an orange and a cranberry flavor but it's just way too strong and way too tart for me and I get bored of it at around five sips but I can still manage to drink the rest of it so it's not awful but i'm gonna go ahead and give it a lower c tier all right next we have orange vibe and i can safely say that my opinion on this flavor hasn't really changed much the only good thing i will say about this flavor is that the orange creamsicle flavoring is spot on and if you're into that kind of thing then i guess you'll really like this flavor but to me it just tastes like 90 percent creamsicle and 10 percent orange so it's like an off-putting sweetness to me i'm gonna go ahead and keep this flavor at a c tier one thing i will say though is that this flavor mixes very well with bahama mama so for that i'm gonna put it right above hive nectar all right next we have sonic peach rings now i remember when i first had sonic peach rings it was my all-time favorite flavor like i thought it was the best g fuel flavor of all time but over time of drinking it i kind of got a little bored of it and it's just a very simple flavor to me it's still a solid flavor though and it's kind of similar to watermelon in the sense that it's simple but it still gets the job done so i'm gonna go ahead and put it in a mid a tier all right next we have pewdiepie lingonberry and once again i can safely say that my opinion has not changed at all on this flavor this flavor is still one of the best G Fuel flavors that they have right now. It consistently hits, and it's like the perfect mix between an artificial lingonberry and an authentic lingonberry. And I remember the first few times I had this flavor, it was a little too tart for me, but now it's perfect. It's just like drinking juice. PewDiePie lingonberry is staying at S tier. All right, next we have Radioactive Lemonade. Now, unfortunately for me, I bought all three of the Spider-Man collector's boxes without realizing that the flavor was just gonna be I. So best believe I was drinking this flavor every day at school at one point. So over time, it kind of grew on me, but I still definitely don't recommend it if you're first getting into G Fuel because bubblegum and lemonade is not really the best combination, but I'm still going to go ahead and give it a B tier. All right, next we have Raging Gummy Fish, and this is another flavor that has 
an acquired taste for me because the first few times when I had it I thought it had like a weird sweetness to it and I didn't really like it so I would always mix it with hype sauce and it would taste good and then one day I drank it without the hype sauce and it still tasted pretty good it still doesn't taste like Swedish fish though it's more of like a tame refreshing strawberry taste but I'm gonna go ahead and put it in B All right, this next flavor has a very special place in my heart because next we have raspberry iced tea. I remember coming home from school and opening up my new G Fuel package just to see this flavor. And I just so happened to buy one of those stainless steel shaker cups as well. So I went ahead and tried it with that cup all while playing neon white for the first time. It was truly a magical experience. Drinking this cool, refreshing flavor all while hearing that. <laughs> For the first time. I mean, you can't go wrong at all with this flavor. It quite literally just tastes like raspberry iced tea. Probably my current favorite flavor, but I'm still gonna put it in S tier right below hype sauce. All right, next we have Naruto Sage Mode. Now, this is another one of those very simple flavors. It's a bit similar to Sonic Peach Rings, except I think Sage Mode has a bit more of an authentic peach mango flavor. It's still a very, very refreshing flavor, but I'm gonna go ahead and put it in B because it's a bit too tame for me. All right, next we have Shiny Splash, and boy, has my opinion changed a lot on this flavor. I do not rock with this flavor at all. All really like it literally tastes like sour blue chug rug but without the sour a year ago when i made this tier list i said it tastes exactly like hype sauce but it's blue and that couldn't have been further from the truth it's like hard to describe this flavor it kind of tastes like nothing but at the same time it tastes like a medicine blueberry but without the like strongness i don't know bro i don't really rock with this flavor but i'm still able to drink the whole thing so i'm gonna go ahead and put in C. all right and on that note now we have sour blue chug rug and this literally tastes like shiny splash but with the sour except the sour overlaps the blue raspberry so much that it literally tastes like I'm drinking malad acid that dissolved in water. This flavor tastes I if you have it in one of those slushy cups, but I'm still gonna put it right below Shiny Fire! Splash. All right, now that we got that little rant out the way, next we have Snow Cone. And I still firmly believe that this flavor tastes exactly like a snow cone, like biting into all three flavors at once. This flavor always hits, it never misses, especially when it's extra cold. And not to mention that it's super refreshing. I highly recommend this flavor to anybody that's getting into G Fuel for the first time. I'm gonna go ahead and give it a high A. Alright, next we have Strawberry Slushy. Now, my opinion on this flavor hasn't really changed that much, but over time of drinking this flavor, it has become a little bit more tart to me, which is something that the flavor needs, because I remember the first few times I drank this flavor, it was pretty tame to me. This flavor does go very, very well with radioactive lemonade, so it gets some bonus points for that, but ironically enough, it just tastes I in the slushy cup, and I'd much rather have it in a regular shaker cup. I'm still gonna go ahead and give it a B. Alright, next we have the juice. Now, I'm not gonna lie, my opinion on this flavor has changed a lot. Before, I thought it was S tier. Like, it literally tasted like Starburst. It tasted like candy. But I don't know what it is. Like, I don't know if it has something to do with the powder that they gave me. But over time, this flavor just got more and more tart. Every time I drink it, it's similar to Orange Cranthony in the sense that I can only take like three or four sips and it's like, oh, yeah, yeah I'm, I'm good. It's still not a bad flavor taste wise by any means, but it definitely did go down for me. So I'm gonna go ahead and give it a B. All right, next we have watermelon. Now, watermelon is another simple flavor. It tastes exactly like the Jolly Rancher watermelon, but it's very, very tame, but it's not too tame to the point where it loses points for it. I will say this flavor is very refreshing, and there's not really much to say about it, so I'm gonna give it a low A. All right, next we have Wumpa Fruit, and I'm not gonna lie, I overlook Wumpa Fruit a lot whenever I'm picking my flavors. I mean, this flavor is not only pretty bland, but it's also a bit tame as well, and I can't even say it's that refreshing either. And I can tell G Fuel's trying to go for like a mango flavor, but I think they need to stick with the peach flavors. I would say it's better than all the flavors we have in C tier so far, so I'm gonna put it in a high and once again, I don't know what it is with G Fuel on mango flavoring, but it just doesn't really hit for me. Because next we have mango lemonade. And I'm gonna let you guys know right now, this flavor tastes exactly like Wampa Fruit, but just a little bit sweeter. Like it has a little lemonade aftertaste. And it's a shame because this is Shock's flavor, and I literally watch like all of his reviews whenever I want to buy a new flavor. So it was a little bit disappointing, but I'm still gonna give it a B. Alright, next we have gummy worms. And this flavor does indeed taste like gummy worms, so I guess G Fuel gets points for that. But I must say, this flavor is a bit tart. It's like peaking the edge of being over tart but it hasn't yet gone over it it also has a bit of like a medicine-y aftertaste but it's nothing overbearing i still think that this flavor is better than the juice so i'm gonna go ahead and put it in b right above the juice all right next we have sour pewdiepie lingonberry and i must say that with this sour flavor g fuel done did it right it's not overbearingly sour to the point where it tastes like i'm literally drinking malad acid it just complements the lingonberry very well and it makes the flavor taste a bit more like a candy lingonberry i must say though i still do prefer the original lingonberry more, so I'm gonna give this flavor a high A. Alright, last but not least, we have Glitch Mix.
mix. This is definitely a very exotic flavor. It's supposed to be a strawberry guava coconut, which I think is pretty unique compared to all the other flavors. I'd say it's a bit similar to Miami Nights in the sense that it tastes like I'm drinking a virgin cocktail. And in general, I just think the flavors complement each other very, very well. I'm gonna go ahead and put it in a high A. For some reason, this tier list didn't have Future Sense, which is the other Spider-Man flavor. And there's nothing really much to say about it. I mean, it literally just tastes like fruit punch. So I'm gonna go ahead and give it a B. But this is my G Fuel tier list. It's definitely changed a lot since the last time I made one. Go ahead and tell me in the comments what your favorite flavors are and if this tier list is accurate to you. As always, my opinion is 100% right anyway, so it really doesn't matter. Like and subscribe.